In the early 1950s, in response to the enemy's deployment of small tactical nuclear weapons, the Soviet Union also began developing related equipment. However, at that time, the Soviet Union still lagged behind in the miniaturization of nuclear weapons technology. Compared to nuclear bombs like the 280mm of Honest John, the tactical nuclear bombs developed by the Soviet Union were much larger. In order to meet the needs of tactical strikes, the Soviet Union initiated the development of the 2K-1 Mars and 2K-4 Eagle Owl systems. Systems like the 2K-4 were mainly assigned to armored divisions, with each division equipped with one battalion. They were primarily used to target high-value or clustered targets within the division's strike range, similar to the functionality of the B-4 heavy howitzer during World War II. The chassis of the 2K-4 was based on the ISU-152 chassis, with no major changes to the basic structure. The upper structure was modified, and it was powered by a 520-horsepower W2IS 12-cylinder four-stroke V-type diesel engine, allowing the 2K-4 to reach a maximum speed of 30 kilometers per hour. After unloading ammunition, it could reach a speed of about 41 kilometers per hour. At that time, the Soviet Union's missile guidance technology was not up to par. The accuracy of the inertial guidance technology was insufficient, resulting in an error of 500 to 1,000 meters at a range of 30 kilometers. Of course, this kind of error did not make much difference for tactical nuclear bombs, but it made a significant difference for the ammunition itself. If the ammunition was designed as an inertial guided short-range missile, not only would the accuracy not be guaranteed, but the cost would also be very expensive. On the other hand, simpler rockets had errors within this range at the 30-kilometer range level and were easier to manufacture. There were three types of ammunition used for the 2K-4, namely 3P2, 3P3, and 3P4, each with slightly different performance. The 3P2 had a diameter of 612 millimeters for the projectile, with a super-caliber huge warhead on top with a diameter of 850 millimeters, as the corresponding nuclear warhead had a diameter of 850 millimeters. The rocket was about 10.3 meters long, with a warhead weight of about 1.2 tons. The 3P3 was a conventional warhead rocket, which still used a warhead larger than the diameter of the projectile, containing 500 kilograms of explosives, with a total warhead weight of 565 kilograms. As for the 3P4, it was a composite type, combining the strengths of various manufacturers. These rockets did not have a long range, generally considered to be between 20 to 32 kilometers. Different articles provided slightly different data, but they were all within this range. Of course, the range of each type of ammunition should also differ due to differences in weight. As a powerful weapon of the Divisional Tactical Missile Battalion, the 2K-4 would be called upon when the Vanguard encountered targets that needed to be struck. They would first determine the coordinates and orientation of their own position and the target on the predetermined position and estimate factors such as weather and atmospheric conditions. Then, they would launch the rockets. According to tactical requirements, they needed to immediately withdraw from the position after each launch to avoid enemy counterattacks. They would replenish ammunition in suitable locations in preparation for a second round of launches. The preparation process before launch took about 30 minutes, and ammunition replenishment required about one hour with the help of small cranes and other equipment. Although the design work of the 2K-4 progressed relatively smoothly and it passed testing and entered limited production in 1957, the Soviet military decided to terminate this program the following year for a simple reason. The R-11-R-11M tactical missile system was becoming more mature. This liquid-fueled missile, which could carry tactical nuclear warheads, had a maximum range of 270 kilometers, far surpassing the capabilities of tactical nuclear rocket artillery and even capable of playing a strategic role in small countries. During the months from finalization to termination of the project, 36 sets of launchers were produced for the 2K-4, as well as corresponding equipment such as the K-210-type automotive crane. Although they did not meet the Soviet military's new tactical requirements, 
their imposing appearance brought enough shock value. Shortly after entering service, they participated in a parade on Red Square, playing a positive role in boosting morale among the people. In 1960, the Soviet military terminated the service of the 36 sets of 2K4. Apart from some preserved in museums, the vehicles were cut up and destroyed, and the ammunition was recycled.